Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of November 27th. This week, check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also, this week, I'm doing a 30% off sale on 2018 readings. Until the end of the month, you can find the details on that in the link in the description below. But let's see what's going on. I'm actually going to pull an extra card to see what we got going on here. All right. So we start off with the Six of Hearts. I think that Cancer always gets this card. It's a card of um, a turnaround in the energy, um, being able to move forward in some sort of direction that you haven't been able to move forward in in a long time. Again, it could be relationships. I definitely th think for some of you there could be um, a relationship coming in for you uh, at you know at this time. I wouldn't say maybe not this week, but definitely you know it, over the next few months here. I would say it, you know if you're not in a relationship and you want to be. Uh, but this is a great card for a turnaround in the energy. I think you've been getting this card a lot, so there's definitely some turnarounds coming in for you. Next, you have the Ace of Spades, um, card of existing problems being resolved, so overcoming some issues. You have two nines here. Nines kind of at, represent almost being at the end of something, almost being at the end of the cycle, and being able to move forward. So you definitely have this kind of moving forward energy at this time. I also feel like the Ace of Spades is saying that we need to, um, you know, cut certain things out of our lives at this time. Uh, it's been a general message for pretty much everybody for the entire month of November. That is a great time to look at things that you, you don't need anymore or ways you, or even like your thoughts, changing your thoughts and things, uh, and maybe even cutting things out at this time. Next, you have the Nine of Diamonds. Again, this can be a card of transformation. It's called the coffin in, in the Lenormand card reading system. And it can represent death, literally, literally dealing with somebody's death, uh, or it can represent just a transformation at this time. Again, you have two death cards in a row, so you know definitely something to think about that there could be some great changes coming up for you this week. But this is also a great card of profits and money coming in as well, and financial changes happening for you. It can represent things like new jobs, promotions, uh, anything like that. Next, you have the Jack of Hearts. can represent an admirer, somebody who's interested in you. It's interesting. You have the same combination that uh, Gemini had. Gemini also had the Jack of Hearts and the Jack of Spades. Um, you also have the Jack of Hearts and the Jack of Spades. So uh, there could be an admirer around you, somebody who's interested in you. Uh, probably a fellow water sign at this time. Uh, or it could be an air sign, you know, randomly with the, that maybe has heavy water in their chart or something uh, because that Jack of Spades could be an air sign. But this card can also be you uh, needing to get out there more, needing to socialize more. Next, you have the Jack of Spades. Again, like I said, could be an admirer who's an air sign. This card is a card of uh, needing to be more like a child at this time. Again, this came up in general for during no the November readings that people needed to look at things with fresh eyes. Like, again, I don't think it's really about being a child or looking at things like a child. I think it's about just having uh, fresh eyes and looking at things in different ways at this time. Um, you know, nothing, you know, I think that there's a lot of illusions going on around us, let's put it that way. So, you know, not taking things like the news too seriously, anything like that, and also uh, digging deeper, are very important. Anytime Pluto and, Pluto and Capricorn, anytime there's Pluto and Capricorn, or, you know, Pluto to me is the detective of the Zodiac, and especially when it's in Capricorn, I think that it's a great time to uh, dig into things, especially like, in, you know, even on a personal level, if people are telling you things about like somebody else or something, it's a great time to like ask the person that they're talking about. So, you know, no accepting things at face value at this time. Uh, make sure to dig in and dig a little deeper. And finally, you have the Nine of Clubs card of achievements and recognition. Really good card for, you know, getting recognition, reaching goals at this time. And it's also a great card for uh, putting yourself out there more, especially in business. Uh, you could see a lot of success with this card. This card is also about blending into situations. And we also have, um, yeah, I would say that some of your cards here are definitely about blending in and knowing you know, what to say, what not to say, and all of those things. So trust your intuition uh, this week and when you're like dealing with people or especially groups of people with some of these cards. Um, just trust yourself and trust your intuition uh, as to what you should be saying at what times and things like that. So looks like a great week for you. Like I said, a lot of good cards here, actually. Uh, definitely a change week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.